Hey guys, welcome back to Chandler Burton Entertainment, and today we're finally going to be doing kind of a video game reaction. I've posted before on my videos that I also react to video games, but I haven't really had any trailers that kind of interested me here. Um, but there is something that I did kind of want to watch. GameSpot, if you're familiar with them, they just put out two videos a little while ago. There's one saying 48 things that you still didn't know that you can do in Breath of the Wild, and then they posted the video another day ago about another 21 things that you didn't know you could do in Breath of the Wild. Now I've talked, I think I've talked about Breath of the Wild before on my channel, maybe a little bit like in, kind of like in passing, but I haven't ever had a chance to sit down and talk about it. Uh, Breath of the Wild is probably, without question, one of my favorite games of all time. I have put so many hours into that game that I was actually, when I first bought it, I was a little concerned. I was like, I like original Zelda. I don't know how they're going to pull out this open world thing. And turns out it's probably the greatest open world game I've uh, ever played. And I think I actually like it a little bit better than Ocarina of Time. Just a little bit. Just a tiny bit. I know it's saying a lot, but I'm a huge Zelda fan and I love the franchise here. So I'm going to be watching those videos today. So in total, it's going to be 69 things. That's what she said about Breath of the Wild that we didn't know we could still do. I'm really excited to watch him. I had no idea GameSpot put out these videos. But first, I want to show you how many hours I have put into Breath of the Wild, and then we'll get reacting to the video. Let's go ahead and get into it. All right, just to show you, because I'm a really big geek, I just wanted to show you how many hours I actually have put into Breath of the Wild. I know more people have put in more hours than me, but honestly, this game is so sick. So if you scroll all the way to the side here, of course, hit all software you can see right here you can see um how many hours you put into each game so like for example i have the most hours on hulu because i watch a lot of hulu but breath of the wild is still number one and then it's uh animal crossing super smash Bros. ultimate modern rabbits kingdom battle and super mario odyssey so those are the games that i play the most and then you go to my profile here also too if you want to add me i always leave my information down there if you want to add me take a look at that man oh whoops Look at that, 180 hours or more of Breath of the Wild. That's how much I love this game, and there's still so much I can do. I gotta get the Korok seeds, get all the outfits and everything. Um, but I just wanted to show you guys that I absolutely adore this game. It is so much freaking fun. All right, so again, this is gonna be the first part, and then we'll watch the 21 part, like right after this here. So this is going to be 48 things you still didn't know in Zelda Breath of the Wild. Um, as you saw, I have put like 180 hours or more into this game, and there's still a ton I could do. So chances are, after I'm done doing this, I'm uh, probably going to put my game and play it some more. So I'm really excited. Let's see what you got for me, GameStop. GameStop. GameSpot. I'm sorry. Golly. I know what you're thinking. But I've watched every YouTube video, seen every tips and tricks guide. I know everything already. Well, I guarantee you, even after four long years of Breath of the Wild being released, even seasoned veterans will learn at least one thing new here today. This list includes regular secrets and some glitches, ranging from simple to complex things. So, if you enjoy content like this, let us know by giving us a simple like. It helps more than you think. Alright, let's jump right in. Kinox and Stalnox that attack with trees will obviously damage Link. But if they happen to pick up a bent palm tree, this will miss Link completely because of the bent hitbox of the tree. Kinoxes that. that do sweeping <laughs> attacks with longer trees can be ducked under. Hyrule Didn't Castle batteries either. actually work as real intended batteries, blocking incoming guardian lasers while letting you fire through them. Only in Hyrule Castle, all champion abilities have much shorter cooldown. This also stacks with the room plus upgrades. Actually, Outside didn't of Hyrule know that. Castle, the what cooldown the is normal. Link has multiple small animations and sounds you may have missed for different types of food he consumes, such as skewers, dishes, rock hard food, dubious food, drinking elixirs or milk, eating raw ingredients, and manually using a fairy. You can instant spin attack with a sword by spinning the stick then attacking, but the direction of the really? spin attack reflects the direction that you spun the stick. Holding ZL while swimming will give you a different swim animation. This is a direct reference to Ocarina of Time's time. yeah. swim animation. If you see a Lionel starting to charge you, either hold an item, a bow, or a bomb in your hand, hold ZL, then just hop backwards. What? You'll strangely dodge right through its charge. What? Are you serious? I'll have to try that. Moblins with spears have a special lunging spear attack that has a huge flurry rush window. It's such a large window that you can flurry rush the same attack twice. In Kakariko, there's either. one singular apple that someone hid underneath this bridge. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't know that. That's hilarious. Farm animals like sheep and cows conduct electricity. Weird thing is, when they conduct it to you, it doesn't harm you. Maybe it's because of the wool. On Death Mountain, you'll usually burn to a crisp without the right gear or elixir. But you can reset your burn timer by spin attacking with a heavy weapon. Really? 
You can also simply douse yourself with a regular Chuchu Jelly that. to get 30 seconds of heat invulnerability. This also works in the hot Gerudo Desert. I did not know that. I get those Speaking things all the, the time. Desert, if you're completely out of shade and are burning up, you can use a large weapon such as a crusher above your head as shade. Funnily enough, this also makes you walk faster than normally wading through sand. Everyone Are you reacts serious? pretty similarly to you pulling out a bomb in front of them, with most key characters having a little more special dialogue. But the weirdest dialogue is with Olkin the Pumpkin Farmer at night, when he's not farming, in which he'll say this. A blue in pumpkin. Master mode, all enemies are upgraded one level, uh, which means there are no low-level red bokoblins, except for one lonely one in the world riding a horse below the stasis shrine. There are technically three distances you can throw an item. Pressing D-pad down will far throw, a regular throw will go right in front of you, and using magnesis first, then throwing will drop it right at your feet. It's possible to play Breath of the Wild in first person using a glitch, but what? it's pretty difficult to pull off. But we do have a guide all about it. When you run out of arrows okay. in your quiver, uh, not only that. is your quiver cool. empty, but your stance changes I as well. Third person, Firing the bow but... with no arrows will just make a strumming noise. You can lift a Salnox up with a Magnesis chest. They <laughs> will get pretty either. pissed though and start throwing explosive barrels at you. If a Bokoblin is unarmed and tries to melee you, stand still and parry over and over. Your slight forward momentum and the Bokoblin's strange attack angle puts you in a perpetual state of missing high fives. <laughs> Every large enemy in the world can be crouched under. This includes guardians, what? Lions, How did I not know this? And taluses. What the heck? How did I not know Phenoxes any of this? Can be run under. If you have completed the Champions Ballad DLC, warp to I the Divine Beast Varuta. Look up and wait 30 seconds for a really weird surprise. What? Pebbles can be picked up and thrown or dropped to defeat them. Okay, but you I'm can gonna also have to do simply that. run them over with the Master Cycle. The Master Cycle also has a very strange glitch to the rear tire specifically. You can gain bullet time straight from the ground over the rear tire at a 45 degree angle. Now you can really wind bomb anywhere. Huh. The eye is not the Guardian's only weak spot. The blue engine on the bottom is also a weak spot as well. At the Lake Akala Fairy Fountain, there's a massive hole in the wall that developers forgot to fill incorrectly. There are actually several of these hidden throughout Hyrule as well. With how big Hyrule is, this was bound to happen. Most people know about using sun shrooms and spicy peppers as updrafts, mm -hmm. but they can also be chained together as long as you don't directly shoot the ingredient. Just shoot right next to it to set it on fire, and then you'll get a secondary updraft. That's hilarious. I would never if be able to do that. If you fire single shot regular arrows at a wooden boomerang while it's returning, you can completely cover a wooden boomerang with arrows and even sheathe it. At this point, you can retrieve your arrows back whenever you want, sort of becoming an arrow pincushion. Kind of interesting. In Hateno Village, the villagers will have special dialogue and even some small rewards when you carry around a blue flame. But also the kids will surround you and admire the pretty flame. <laughs> With certain glitch techniques, Link actually has the ability to body slam his opponents. By thunderclap rushing, pressing B, then unequipping your weapon, or by skew bouncing above the enemy's head, Link's own body momentum smacks the enemy, oh, nice. doing 8 damage. When you exit the scope, oh, you're temporarily know. invisible. Use flurry rushes or bullet time to extend that time and look invisible. If you're stuck out in a storm or rain, cut down a tree, stasis it really quickly, then throw some wood underneath it. This is basically a mini roof allowing you to make a fire while it's raining to pass the time. Break the tree <laughs> down to get your even... wood back. If you ever look Genius. closely at your map Genius. while being attacked by guardians, the all the ones who have noticed you will be pulsing red on your map. Ones who have lost track of you but are still alert are pinged as a regular red dot. If you land on top of a guardian, jump, then shield surf on top of it. You can just chill here like this, and the guardian won't move. Nice! <laughs> when targeted by around. a guardian, try and selfie pose. It will sometimes target the camera instead of Link. You might need to buy a new selfie stick at this point. <laughs> if you're ever out of stamina, hold ZL and walk instead. It's faster than normally walking. In one of the buildings in Gerudo Town, there's a scarecrow with a funny hand-drawn face on it. The Gerudo Risa uses it to practice pickup lines for Vo Men in secret. Moblins that throw their friend Bokoblins do damage depending on the thrown Bokoblins melee damage, not the Moblins throwing damage. Throwing live animals off a tall ledge will make them float strangely. <laughs> Also, releasing heck? any live animal normally will make them run away. But if you hold the animals, throw them, then bomb yourself very quickly, they will spawn in normally. You can make a swarm of animals anywhere this way. That's this tight. specific technique is also used to get extra fairies, and can be used to get a total of 21 fairies this way. What the heck? Are you serious? 
how do you how do they figure when this you're out? Cooking pot, the game will automatically. Nintendo bring didn't even probably know they could do no this. No matter which <laughs> menu you were in before, oh, did, because know. it knows you want to cook. When you find a ring of rocks for a missing Korok seed, stand in the middle and look in the direction of the missing rock. It'll always point you in the general direction of where you should start looking. That would have been nice. You to can know. disable a guardian and have it be friendly by using Urbosa's Fury, then using Stasis. It will simply sit there and look around aimlessly, and it won't care even if you attack it. What? You can also do a visual delayed thunder strike on a guardian. By using Urbosa's Fury twice in quick succession, the second lightning strike will come eight seconds later. It looks pretty epic in slow motion. That was pretty cool, yeah. If you continue to beat the champion's ballad blights over and over, you will continue to get unique dialogue and lore for each champion, including some pretty amazing voice lines. If you should find my diary somewhere. Whoa. Don't you dare read it! The Stone Smasher, Boulder Breaker, and Lionel Crushers all have a special property. They're all heavy enough to push stone objects when magnesis. This includes stone switches, anvils, and even open and closed How stone did I doors. not even think of that? This like, how did they come with up with any this? other weapons? And crazy. And that's it. Breath of the Wild is a journey that doesn't stop, and there's always something new to learn, even for a veteran such as myself. If you enjoy Breath of the Wild content like this, be sure to check out our other content, including expert reacts and breakdown videos. And for everything else, stay tuned right here on GameSpot. All right. All right, so since I pulled up in the suggestions here, we're just going to pop over to the next video. And this will be 20 more, 21 right. more things. If you're coming from watch, my last video, I've got even more interesting Breath of the Wild tidbits that you probably don't know about. We'll still have some of the basic bread and butter tips, but we're also going to go more into the deep end this time. So All prepare right. for some more glitches and game development stuff. If you enjoy content like this, give this video a like. I specialize in Breath of the Wild, and I will be on top of the newest Zelda stuff pronto. Thank All goodness. Right, we need Breath of the Wild too, man. Can't Certain sides that. of these common trees have roots that can be backflipped off of to gain bullet time quickly. What? Just hold ZL down, hop forward, then backflip. This can be a nifty way to gain the upper hand during a fight. <laughs> the most common way to conduct shock arrows while out and about is to stasis a choo-choo jelly, then shoot it. But you can instead use a freshly killed frog or lizard, freeze them, then shock them. This will also conduct <laughs> shock arrows. Also, if you remember bomb chews from past right. Zelda games, you can even send in the animal towards an enemy encampment and perform this as a makeshift electric bomb chew. What the Pretty heck? Oh, that is cool. Tall trees with a pointed top can let you rest up there to get your stamina back, but it also lets you survey the area with your scope and use the camera rune. Didn't know you can climb trees mode. like that. No other rune works. Unless you count wind bombs, I guess. When a twilight or light arrow is fired, the arrow usually disappears upon striking an object. But certain rock hard objects cause it to ricochet off, and you can actually see the arrow bounce around. <laughs> Oars are giant flints, so strike an ore with a piece of wood to make a campfire and take an even closer look. That's pretty cool, man. It's also possible for elemental arrows to ricochet to the ground. By firing at a fairy, elemental arrows bounce off in different directions. Shock arrows can drop straight down and shock opponents, but the best use is fire arrows in a grassy area, as the updrafts they create affect them in real time and cause a chaotic firestorm of ricocheting arrows. I'm if excited. To I'm excited skull, to play Breath of the Wild again, dude. You can use the R button to kick attack and damage enemies freely. Are you Since serious? Since the skull is technically a third party and not your attack, what? you can use it to bully enemies to death. <laughs> what? Try I need doing to go back the same trick on the Zolfos, though, and they'll just casually sidestep your kick. Cheeky no. buggers. There's one apple tree with a beehive on it in the Lost Woods that's technically impossible to get to. We think maybe a dev put it there and forgot about it, but we'll never know. Yeah, they probably forgot. This game's huge, Small man. curbs such as the edge of towers or the guardrails of Sokala Bridge rapidly accelerate Link when sliding against it with a slick shield. Tony Hawk would be proud of your grinding skills. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> the music. I've actually been playing a lot of Tony Hawk Pro Skater to on the PS4. House, it's then fun. either burn or spin attack his flowers, specifically on his lawn. They act really weird. An old trick is to swing a flame or shock weapon, then drop them mid-swing to give them elemental properties on the ground, mm -hmm. called elemental ignition. But an ingenious use of this is to carefully lay a trap on top of a metallic weapon and sandwich it between a juicy piece of meat. It actually becomes a real working mousetrap. What the heck? <laughs> what in the world? Did you I know that the Colosseum Lionel actually holds a torch that has a flame blade skin over it? 
There's actually a couple ways to show this, but the easiest way is to fire a fire arrow at the flame blade just before the Lionel disappears. Then, pick up the weapon while empty-handed to carry the live torch. This is called a torchized flame blade, but the best usage is to magnesis it and burn enemies from a safe distance. Heck yeah, man. I didn't know that either. That's sick. If you pay close attention, food that gets frozen gets heavily increased sliding properties. Yeah. Try not to freeze your meal on a hillside or else your lunch might slide away. Although, it can be pretty fun to watch where they might end up. That would be quite Here's a, a bit. a photo from Nintendo's hiring website that displayed items used for fully work during Breath of the Wild's development. This is my personal guess to which sounds were which. <laughs> yeah. Here's also a oh, short man. video that they posted, which showcased footstep and equipment audio while walking. <laughs> Elemental key oh, swings man. have small designs on their wings matching to their element, such as glacier-like designs for ice keys, flames for fire keys, and lightning electric strikes keys. for electric keys. By using the scope while on the master cycle, then quickly placing a marker and exiting the scope, you will pivot the bike and forcibly break things. You can what? break rocks, push objects, and even knock down certain doors by How do they? Light. I want to know how they find out about this. This guy must be really in more Breath of the Wild than anyone I know. I don't even know the guy. Oh, and break the bike itself. What? You can break the bike? Oh, there may be some small you. enemy animations you may not have seen before in special situations. That is correct. Such as Guardian not. Scouts breaking Cryonis blocks, yeah, I've never... blowing away bombs when they notice them, and a slightly different one when they're surprised by them, and Wiz Robes summoning Choo Choo's and Keys. Huh. Blizzard rods are not only massively useful against packs of enemies, but they're also one of the best farming tools in the game, especially making cliff farming a breeze. Literally. <laughs> Decayed Guardians usually have an ancient part for you to grab, yeah. but there are a handful of special ones in Hyrule that carry two for some reason. That is true. I didn't know that, actually. It's kind of weird. If you're an extremely dedicated treasure hunter, you may at some point have run into treasure chests on your radar that are nowhere to be found. That's, That's correct. because they were unfortunately misplaced during development to spawn under the map. But through some glitches, you can actually still get to these hard to reach chests underneath really? the map. I'll have to try that. Oh, dude, that's cool. Is it worth it for the reward at this point? Not really, but the fact that we can get to these at all in such a weird fashion is a satisfaction that we wanted. Yeah, I want to see what's in them. Are they going to show it? I don't think they will. I mean, it's something. Hopefully this will add to your arsenal of even more things you didn't know about Breath of the Wild. Yeah. We continue to do more Breath of the Wild coverage to this day, including do, expert man. reacts and breakdown videos. And for everything else, stay tuned right here on GameSpot. Oh man, that was super cool. Sorry if I look kind of... I was just watching because I'm like, man, I got to try that for myself. Um, I'll go and give my quick thoughts on that and uh, we'll go from there. All right. So again, that was in total 69 things that you did not know about Breath of the Wild. That was from GameSpot. So I appreciate them making those videos. Uh, that one guy, he, he really is a Breath of the Wild expert. He knows what's up with that game. I put so many hours in that game. That's almost everything in there I didn't really know. There's a few that I knew. But a lot of them I didn't know, so I'm gonna have to go through and uh, I'm gonna have to play that game. Uh, but let me know down below: Are you guys? Do you guys like Breath of the Wild? You guys are excited for the new game? I am over the moon excited for Breath of the Wild 2. Nintendo did confirm we are getting more information this year. I am really excited about that. Once we get a trailer for that, I will absolutely be reacting to it. I'm also trying to get a capture card. So that way I can try to stream Breath of the Wild too. I do have a Twitch that I use, and so and I usually upload it to YouTube. So if you miss out on my Twitch, I usually put it on YouTube. So I, I will definitely put that on YouTube. I know Nintendo sometimes can be a little mm, with their stuff, so hopefully I can stream and get that all figured out. But again, this has been Chandler Burton Entertainment. Thank you guys for watching the video. If you like what you see, feel free to hit the subscribe button and the like button. That does go a long way. Uh, but until next time, I hope you all take care.